the way in which my, my approach came to theater is a kind of like afterthought in the, as a part process. I never thought of that. I said that, that experience that I had had it with Mary in 1967. I had no, no informed, direct access to theater before that, in art in that sense. So, uh, but it, what I did have access to from the time that I was a child, from eight years old, I'm eight years old when the Montgomery, when Brown versus the Board of Education. I'm nine years old in the Montgomery bus boycott. So I'm seeing my parents, my mother the first to graduate from college from, from her, uh, in, in her family and from the rural South. I'm seeing my, my parents celebrate that because they're in a union, the postal union. They get jobs at the post office in 1948. That reflects, that reflects a great deal of what the nature of my, my, my own evolution, you know. So I just, when I'm when I here, I'm hanging around 12 years old, 11 years old, let's see, 1915, 12 years old. And then I hear somebody says, I hear my, my, my parents' union celebrating the victory of the Cuban Revolution. I said, what's this Cuban Revolution as a 12-year-old kid? Because I see it there. So my own particular engagement comes from that. And so I did not begin to really associate myself with a group of artists and actors who were artists, purely artists and actors, and saw their light through art, art and acting uh, until I was 30 years old and decided I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. Then I went to this class, I took movement, I took voice, I studied Shakespeare, did all the particular things. So there's a way in which I think there, there's, there's, there's a, a ch some choices that I've made in my own life that, that didn't exclude acting, but certainly was, it, acting wasn't the main force that drove my life. You know, I thought I was going to be an economist. I thought I was going to be uh, uh, going to work in community development, like so many of us do. I was inspired by SNCC, Student Nonviolent Coordinating. I was inspired by those young people and what was happening about that. I followed them for, an, for a time. I was 16, 15, 16 years old. I followed what they were doing and everything else. That's my own acculturation. So when I when I when I when I when I'm doing things. When I'm saying, talking about philosophically how I see things evolve, it is from that vantage point of looking back and reflecting on what I saw at a particular moment, but trying to connect that not simply as art in art itself, but art in turn relationship to movements.